Come on, Justice. Alright, but here we go. Sweet Tea versus Lazo in winner finals uh, here at Wednesday Night Fights. I want to know where the hero is. The hero? Yeah, Sweet Tea's supposed to be playing hero. What happened? Hero's not that good. Man. I know this might upset some of you Australians, but hero's not that good. Southern Australia. Southern Australia. <laughs> right, right. You know what? I, that is correct. I, Australia. Like, I, I heard some Australians say, yeah, like, even, like, Canada Australians forget that Southern Australia is a thing. <laughs> oh, that's, that's pretty bad. Yeah. Okay, well, winner's finals, Razo versus Sweet Tea. Two players of their caliber making it to winner's finals. No surprise. Okay. Here we go. Just grab off a of ledge and, you know what? I'm just going to really sit here comfortable on some say, try to uh, challenge what CT does. But yet again, you know, Mighty Sword, really strong kill powers all of a sudden. So he's got to be really careful to not get hit by one of those like Razor Leaf to up there combos. But here comes Charizard. Now he has to worry about grabs. And the back air, the back air is going to kill all the way from across stage at like 100%. I mean, that back air has always been strong. But like at the tip of it, like, ooh, that's a sweet spot if I've ever seen. I mean, it literally has fire. Oh, yeah. Literally. Fire. More fire. <laughs> I love that B reverse neutral B. You know what? It's not quite as good as Bowser's, but it, it's something. It's like 20% instead of like 40. Yeah, I'll smash out of shield. You know, one of the best up smashes in the game. Especially out of shield. It's all Flare Blitz. I love Flare Blitz. Dude, Flare Blitz is such a fun move, but like, it's so high. Good. It's so high, though, whenever you land it. Oh, yeah, whenever you land it, it's oh. amazing, but you know what? Here we go. Dying at 200%. That was a really strong stock from Sweet Tea. He's got a good amount of extra credit for it, too. All that percent builds that up now. Um, one thing I'm surprised about is that Sweet Tea isn't switching to Ivysaur as fast as he could. I guess he was just trying to get a little bit of aggression in before he switched to Ivysaur. Now we're trying to play the poke game. Yet again, trying going for the grab. He's just, you know, potentially at the stock right there, but unfortunately not going to be able to find it. It gets the grab there off of the high side B. Goes for the back throw, not going to be able to find it. Goes for the there. Oh no, off of the there instead. You know, Arado's going to make it to reverse edge guard. Not quite because he switches to Charizard instead. Flare Blitz, he'll never expect it. Do it now. <laughs> oh, no, but that Nair was something he didn't expect because he caught the target and managed to hit it, but he didn't even realize that he had it because he turned going for a grab. I mean, to his, to his defense, you know, the way that Charizard holds the turn up, he could not really see it. But a quick back air from Razo, and that's going to extend, or that's going to put him in the lead. Oh, my God, he almost got that grab, too. And you know, at 155 at the ledge, that would have definitely been a heated stock. Yeah, he's really... He's trying to grab, get a grab on Raza right. by the way. Well, you know what, Raza, he's like, okay, I know your game plan, therefore I know how to counteract what you want to do. Mm -hmm. Ooh, man, nice the fair right there. You know, 75% of this is not looking good for Sweet Tea, but definitely can't make this back. 90% on Ivy Sword. Not quite kill percent just yet, so he has a little bit more room to play with before he feels pressure to switch to Jarzad. The back air just barely gonna hit the toad, and toad is gonna be like, "How dare you, my lady?" He was below the stage, and it still hit. Like that—that that is some sort of disjointed hitbox on that toad counter. It's these projectiles. I think Richter has similar. Richter's axe has similar properties. We'll just go right through the stage. Which is fair. I guess he. I guess he needs it. I guess. But 1-0 Razo. Let's see what Sweet Tea uh, is going to do here in game two. On um, uh, Smashville. All right. Here we go. Coming up with a bear, but not going to be able to quite find him much off of it. So Sweet Tea definitely managing to find a hit or two here, but what Squirrel really needs to do is open it up with a combo. But you know what? This is what he does. He kind of got caught with the water gun. You know, I got a little bit of something off of it. it really pushes advantage right here, but not gonna be able to push it far enough to stay in the lead. 
Now, I know I'm just a commentator, but I think the answer is more Flare Blitz. Yeah. If we saw more Flare Blitz, I'm sure we'd see a much different game. I think we'd see a much different game. In fact, <laughs> I, think, I think we would see a 3-0 for Razo in under two minutes. No. Watch. We're, we're going to see a Flare Blitz. It's going to work. And just like that back air, except it'll hit. I mean, it'll actually you know, take the stock. Come on, do it, take it. Come on, do it. Do it, Sweet Tea. Okay, here comes the Flare Blitz. There's one Flare Blitz. Oh, tried avoiding the grab, but you know what? Peach. So many good options that you can do outside of grab. You can go for the down tilt and wait for what you want to do. You know, double jump. Uh, man, just to avoid the mind flip right there. I love what Sweet is doing. You know, it's such a clean, clean uh, ledge play right there. Right. I mean, just the moves that he was, the moves that he was picking at the ledge to try and edge guard uh, Razo would actually shift his momentum, making it very difficult to tell where Sweet Tea was going to end up. Oh, what flare blitz! Oh, but yeah. Now Smash is not going to do a whole lot of knockback, but the what? burnip, excuse me? What? I mean, to be fair, he was at like 200%, so. I'm surprised it clipped. Why did that connect? Charizard, he was big spinning. Boy. <laughs> he was a big boy. That's unfortunate for Sweet Tea, but. Running up and doing nothing, so Rosal's going to be getting a free grab out of that. Withdrawing back to the stage, and that's going to allow him to make center stage. Oh, I heard it grabbed on the wrong side, very unfortunate. Now using the water gun, but a Peach Bomber going to stall out for Razo. Ooh! So down air to up air, platform combo. Such a good combo for Ivy Sword. I've seen Jacob land, or GT land that more often today than I've seen him. Like in previous tournaments. He must have really been practicing and utilizing it. Okay, there's the Charizard. He's back, baby. Oh, my oh, Pokemon buddy. switch there right in the goes. face. Yep. Again. Cross up back there. Cross up with small characters. Small, fast characters are generally hard to deal with. And as you can see, Ronzo uh, is having difficulty uh, distinguishing which side that uh, Sweet Tea is landing on. There's dash attack, you know, there's the Pokemon Switch, you know, can he make up the most out of this, but... Oh, oh again? God. Yeah, I was about to say, like, not again. Pretty sure we would have saw it again if Razo did land on the platform, but he was able to not land. Still, an up air connected for Sweet Tea, putting his game in his favor. You know, that up air is such a strong move, such a disjointed move. Like, you can land with it, and it, it is so safe on the shield. Go back to Smashville for game three. Stop the battle. Uh, the good old days of the entire set being played on Smashville. Oh, yeah. Where have the times gone? In the trash. Oh, my God. <laughs> Everybody, as soon as Smash Switch came out, I don't want to play with you anymore as the you drops into the barrel. <laughs> Okay, well, we have a less explosive start from Sweet Tea as he takes his time really approaching Raza, weaving around the turn. But just a couple up air is all it took to put Raza at 40%. Ooh, Pokemon Switch going to dodge that back air from Raza. Very good call out and patience from Sweet Tea. And again, all these Vine Whips and Razor Leaves, you know, how is Raza going to get in on all this? But. Here we go. Razo's just slowly making his way through the booty. You know, it's just be like, this booty will eventually connect. Okay, and the back there does connect. Right. And he gets that back air. Manages to trade with the turn up, but yet again, both players are kind of looking for that one decisive blow and just end the stock. No jump, but it doesn't matter because he has mind whip. Okay, here it goes. Moment of truth. Here comes the Flare Blitz. Uh, here comes the grab. I the up smash. Oh, up smash. Yeah. Of course, up smash is so good. It got buffed. Yeah, that up smash is not quite as strong as Peach's Fair, apparently, because it is super strong. Again. Oh, Peach at 44%, but you know what? 
zero percent for Squirtle, like very, very low percent. And yet again, now the stocks and the percents have matched up. I was trying to poke with the down air from Razo, but he's going to answer right back. Back here, it does connect. He's trying to push uh, Razo off stage with the water gun. doesn't work. Oh, I love that trying to land with the falling up air again. But you know what, Razo staying smart, staying in shield. Gets hit with the vine web and tries uh, challenging from the air, but no, that's where Peach drives. So, you know, she's going to try to take the most out of this. He's off stage. He has a turn up in hand. Tried sniping him, but you know what? He's going to delay uh, recovering just slightly using the, uh, the razor leaf. Okay, that's back to next, but not going to kill from that part of the stage. Just trying to uh, bob in and out of the zone, but you know what? CP is setting up a very, very impressive defensive option with the fair. Knowing that, like, hey, if you want to approach the zone, you're going to keep these two whips right here. Oh, and then. Flamethrower and really right on stage, but did face. Yeah, super strong. Doesn't matter what percent you were at, you are not going to be able to touch that. I do like to use a water gun coming from CP Squirtle. Up tilt to up there kill? Dang, Squirtle, like, I I didn't know you had that, that kill combo right there. And again, this is super even for both players right now. And side kicks the wrong way, tries to down air him for it, but you know what? Sago being smart going up and above it. Yeah, Sweet T really tried to capitalize. So catches the turn up. Oh, it tried combling out of it, but she's gonna grab it back herself. And you know, I love these turn plays from both players right here. Right back here, sneaks in for Razo. The placement of turn ups for Razo are so smart. It's like playing chess with GT's Pokemon. And that is checkmate right there with the Queen's Hound. Oh my god. Calling out that fair and punishing him for it. Okay, so I want to point something out. When Sweet Pea took game two, there was more Flare Blitz than there was in game one or three. More Flare Blitz is the key. More Flare Blitz. Uh, I, I, think, I think it needs more triangle. <laughs> I have a fever not, not. for Flare Blitz, or I have a fever and Flare Blitz is the cure. Yeah. Not, not, not enough cowbell. Not enough cowbell. Not enough cowbell. <laughs> and again, Brill can get a, a hundred hits in, but it only does about like 40%. But he should be like, I'm going to hit you three times, and all of a sudden, you're at 60. It definitely feels like you get hit a lot more as well, because it is do as, it's a lot more multi hits, and you don't do as much damage. Oh, man, the, like, the, the yeah. mental damage is there. <laughs> like, oh, I just got hit 30 times. Honestly, I'd rather be hit by Squirtle like 30 times and like have like zero damage, kind of like Sheik. I'd rather than get hit like five or six times by Sheik and like be at 80, you know? Like, you're right, you're right, you're right. Okay. Will we see more Flare Blitz? That's the question. Game four, Flare Blitz. Oh. Not going to see any Flare Blitz anytime soon for that Charizard. Send that Charizard to the Pokemon Center. Put the Flare Blitz TM right back on it. Oh! Off of it. Not going to be able to get the Dare out in time. But here comes the Charizard. Maybe you'll see a Flare Blitz. Maybe you'll see that Flare Blitz that you still no, this, love, is, this is not the time for Flare Blitz. This is the time for uh, Seismic Toss. Seismic Toss, that's what it was. I don't know why I was going with Body Slam. I mean, if it was a Bowser down throw, that'd be Body Slam. <laughs> Do you remember the the like old school like Pokemon anime when uh, Charizard would use Seismic Toss and he would like fly around the planet? Fly around the planet, yeah. Oh my god, dude. What if like every time? Still couldn't like, learn fly. Yeah. Dude, <laughs> what what if that was was like each Pokemon had their own uh, had their own final smash and that was like Charizard. He like zooms across the stage, grabs you, flies above the the, the, the platform and like zooms around the earth and then comes back down. I mean, that would make them more, uh, more unique for sure. Multiple, multiple uh, final smashes isn't something that's not in the game already, so. Having a 
tier list of all these Final Smashes in the game is like, what if we lived in a world where a competitive Smash, Final Smash, like Peter, was on? How, how different do you think the competitive tier list would be? Um, probably a lot, because no one would play the game. Okay, down air, forward air, and sweet tea. Really can take it for a ride. Oh, but the down air does connect. Well, I wonder if he wanted to go for a second down air just to seal off the stock, but you know what? Definitely felt like it. Yeah. Yeah, the seismic toss, but that's not going to be enough. You know what? That parasol hits so far below stage. The board throw will clean it out, and 89% is not looking good, especially when you're squirreling your super light, but. The one thing that you do have Squirrel is that you have a lot of combos. So, yet again, opening up right there with a clean 40%, 46%, and now that is enough oh. percent for Ivy Sword to make this comeback. Good Pokemon switch, kind of puts, you know, a lot of invulnerability. We're on to Sweet T, using the withdrawal, but stalling out the momentum and landing a forward air. Ooh, another stop from Sweet T. Right, catching the turn up with an air and try going for a grab, but it's going to get stuffed out before you can manage to find it. Using the Vine Whip to avoid it, but oh. gets stage spiked by the there. And right. Razo takes it 3 1 over. All right, congrats, Razo, advancing to grand finals. All right, so who do we have in top eight? Who's going to meet uh, Sweet Tea at Losers Finals side? Uh, looks like we had Lumbre over. We had Nido 2 1 over Paper. We had Tanner 2 0 over Ant. We had. Lumbrae 2 1 over Naito and Tatanator 2 1 over Nitro. So we are having Lumbrae versus Tatanator. Wow. I think they played They played earlier, did they not? I don't know. I haven't looked at the bracket, to be honest. I, I believe they played uh, winner's quarters. Did Lumbrae win? Lumbrae had to win, L right? Lumbrae won, yeah. yeah it, was, it was game three. Game three, Lumbrae won. So okay, here's well, it the sounds like it's going to be another best of three. No. Or is this semis or is this quarters? This is semis. Ooh, so best of five. Best of five, yep. You know, Tanner Tanner has his hot days where he's just like, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be super try hard. And this is one of those uh, hot days right now. Oh, okay. Well, let's see how far Tanner can go. But while we wait for our amazing players to get to the tournament bracket or to our tournament setup, Hope you all enjoyed the commentary. Oh, God, we oh, have a camera? Yeah. 